Hey all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Daljeet and I'll talk everything about makeup, skincare and sometime about lifestyle. So if that is your area of interest too, please consider subscribing to this channel to be part of this family. Alright, in this video we are going to talk about skin cycling. So what is skin cycling? Skincare community has been talking a lot lately about the skin cycling. But actually, it's not something new. Basically, it's a cycle of three to four days of skincare routine that you keep on repeating. Let's talk about this in detail. So, as I mentioned that it's a four to five days of skincare cycle, it consists of exfoliation, treatment, basically retinol, and then the recovery days. So the motive or, you know, the idea behind this kind of routine or approach was to not overdo the skincare, right? Let skincare take its time and work slowly on the skin. And also, you know, there are n number of products available in the market nowadays. There is AHAs, BHAs, retinols, vitamin C. We won't even know what to use and what not to use. And even if you have the products, you will be confused. You will be thinking about what to use with what product. Like for example, you have you can use vitamin C with the sunscreen, but you cannot use you know the exfoliant salicylic acid with the retinol as it can irritate your skin. So this I would say is a defined and you know simplified routine. If you want to give your skin something extra, if you want to do something other than just plain CTM. So how do we do the skin cycling? What day-to-day -day skincare looks like in the skin cycling? Day one is for the exfoliation. You can use any physical or chemical uh, exfoliant. I like using the chemical one because I feel that the chemical ones are a bit more gentler and then there is less risk of skin tear or the micro tears with the uh, you know chemical ones. Uh, I wash my face with the salicylic acid based cleanser that I use daily. Uh, you can use any cleanser that you have and then I use this exfoliant by the Paula Choice. It's their 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. It's the salicylic acid one. Again, um, there is one more uh, which is by the Pixi, yeah, the Pixi Glow Tonic. That is the AHA and this one is BHA. Both works beautifully on the skin. Um, I keep on rotating between these two depending upon what my skin is needing. And then comes the second day which is the treatment day or the retinol day. Retinol is basically a form of vitamin A and we have many different forms of vitamin A available in the market. We have retinol, we have retinol, we have retinoids. They all work you know, quite differently internally but the end result is same. Uh, but yeah, some are less irritating and some are more irritating. I have been using uh, and switching between two retinols. I have the one by Miller. This one is the recent purchase and I have you know, developed kind of opinion about it. And this is the one by Naturium. Naturium, I'm not sure how do you pronounce this, but this is Retinol Complex Serum. I have used it since, you know, last two or three months. This is, I think, my second bottle. And yeah, I have developed opinion about these two. I'll be doing a detailed review about this. But yeah, that's it about it. Okay, so now you have exfoliated your skin on day one. And on day two, you have treated your skin with one of the most possibly irritating ingredient that is retinol. Now your skin needs some rest and that's what brings us to day three and four of this skin cycling which is recovery. Your skin has been treated with the exfoliants and retinols. You don't know how your skin will be reacting. Your skin needs the calm down time, the down time to understand and absorb the goodness of first two days, right? You need to see how your skin is behaving, how your skin is reacting and that is why you are giving your skin a break of two days. We are not going to use any exfoliant or retinol or any kind of other treatment for your skin on day three and four. It's all about moisturizing, hydrating and providing all the goodness to your skin. You need to give luxury treatment to your skin. You are not going to fix it in those two days. Rather, you are nourishing it in those three or four days, right? So day third and fourth is all about providing all the moisture that it needs, providing all the hydration so that your skin can plump up and it can also balance the harshness that it has gone through, you know, first and second day of your skin cycling. And, you know, once the third and fourth day is done, on the fifth day, you can jump again to the exfoliant so on recovering days i wash my face again with the salicylic acid based cleanser and then i you know uh, put this moisturizer on my face i like using this squalene based moisturizer because i feel that these moisturizers squalene based moisturizers have been working best for me uh, the one that i liked a lot is by the max rich i have actually finished like maybe more than uh, nine or ten tubes over the last year uh, this one is again the squalene based one and the another one I have is the 
Biosense one is the Squalane plus Omega Repair Cream. Uh, this one is a lot cheaper. This one is around 200 or 300 INR. This is one of the best moisturizer I have used uh, and that is, you know, easily available in India. And this one, because this one wasn't available uh, to me here in the US, I have been using this one by Biosense. This one is cheaper, but this one is quite expensive. It's like, if I'm not wrong, nearly around $50 but yeah they both have the similar texture they give the same results and yeah my skin has been liking it so these were the four days of the skin cycling i also feel that having a defined routine also makes you know your skincare quick to do even if you are feeling lazy you know you need to reach out to only those two products and you will be good to go and also you can twist this routine as per your needs if you for example have the acne skincare routine i understand that you need to follow adaplane and salicylic acid on more days in that case you can have the recovery period of just you know one day and if your skin is very sensitive you know you cannot cope up with two days of retinols or exfoliants you can just have one day of exfoliant one day of retinol and then rest of the four days or five days of the week you can have the recovery period that works too the main goal is to keep your skin barrier strong while treating it with the good products because if the skin barrier is compromised if you are overdoing the you know retinols or exfoliants uh, you are making it red bumpy oily dry dull and whatnot treating skin barrier is one of the hard things to do so it's better to you know try and incorporate the skincare very slowly and see how your skin is responding and guys in case i have forget to mention that even when i'm doing the exfoliation and retinol routine i'm following it up with a moisturizer so i wash my face i use the exfoliant or retinol and then i use the moisturizer and sometimes if my skin is too dry i like using the oil as well the one that i have currently is by sunday riley one it's okay-ish and also if you are from the dry skin family you can also do that uh, you know uh, slugging on your skin that works fine too so yeah that's it about the skin cycling if you have any more questions you can put them down in the comment section below and i'll get back to you and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up please share it with your family and friends and if you haven't done yet please consider subscribing to this channel i'll meet you next time Bye bye